after hooking my first fish, I realised it wasn't just the cameras that were watching me. More me. I couldn't help myself. I can only presume they've put this uh, here because when the park's busy, they need this walkway for the general public, wheelchairs, families, etc., to get past. But it's a Monday, the park's quiet. I've taken a liberty and I've fished in the out of bounds. You know, it's still the same bit of water we can cast to from the other side, but I've had a wander around, slow sinking maggots, and uh, eventually managed to get one, suck it in. It's uh, not going to be as easy as I first thought, you know, having seen so many fish uh, at the weekend and now feeding them for probably half an hour and, and maybe 15 minutes stalking, they ain't no fools. Um, they've seen it all before, they've been in here a long time. Um, yeah, one would argue they're quite pressured. So, uh, refinement of tackle I think is going to be the order of the day. Small baits, fine line, you know, they're certainly not monsters, so it allows you to, to scale right down. But yeah, this one's slipped up on the good old, can't be beaten, slow sinking maggots. Caught that fish illegal. You caught it yeah, up there just, over the fish. You just line. said that. Um, I appreciate that, and I've also said that I wonder if the reason they put these lines here is because when it's very, very busy of the weekend, they need wheelchair access. And no, it's nothing to do with that. It's to do with protecting the wildlife on that island and to keep this unpolluted. Do you think and yet, fishermen just keep. I know, but you've, you've the rules. watched me, haven't you? You've actually seen everything. Yeah. I haven't been near to the birds. Um, it doesn't matter, you were, your line was there where they are. That's why we say this is the line. I mean, why you want to be torturing animals at all, I don't know, but there you go. What do, you, mean, like, the, what do you enjoy doing in your spare time? Well, not torturing animals. Can you please make a note that this is illegal fishing? It's just horrendous. So yeah, you never answer me, what do you enjoy doing in your spare time? What relevance is that? We're not talking about me. Well, you've come over and had a conversation with me. I was just being polite. I'm a member of the, the parks, friends okay. of the parks. So you like the whole outdoor park thing? I love it, yes. And that's exactly the same as me. No, it I, isn't. No, You're no, killing no. wildlife. You've got to believe me, I've fished since I was four years old, which is 26 yeah, years, and, and I've never, ever, ever killed anyone. Torn. I know, torn but I'll show, you the, I'll show you the hook's right on the edge. There's no way that you can tear its mouth. The fish are actually in quite a good condition. You want to do this, but to be doing it in the park, and people are so distressed about it. I mean, particularly to like, people with young kids. I mean, I've got a grandchild that I, I look after regularly, and I know a lot of the mums, and they say, why is the council permitting it? It's horrible, it's horrible. And so... You don't think it would be a good thing then, maybe for youngsters to get into the sport? No, I don't. But why is that? I th because I think children, particularly now, yeah need to totally love and respect I know, but the, the, the environment. Okay. Not learn to kill things yeah, yeah, yeah. or harm them or chase them because we need to value, value the environment. I can only speak, there's four of us here today and all four of us have fished all our lives. Yeah, and that one's over the line as well. Yeah, he's not, he's filming. He's just sitting under the tree in the shade. Well, there's we a rod there. No, 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 the rods are all... On, on the right side. Yeah, we fished all our lives, and do you know what? Yeah, it's because of well, fishing that we have such a great love for nature and the outdoors. No. <laughs> do you know, I've heard that with fox hunting. No way, no way. You love nature because it provides you with a means to torture animals. Fishermen just seem to think they're a law unto themselves. I think you might be in a little bit stereotypical though, and you're sort of pigeonholing the, the, the whole angling community. I'm not saying, well, angling community. I'm not saying there aren't And you're people. very sarcastic about that comment. <laughs> it's a massive business. I'm not you know saying that every part? single fisherman doesn't follow rules. Yeah. But... I've just broken one and I absolutely hold my hands up for that. I appreciate it. I've Well, done can you it. put that fish back because it was caught there? Yeah, it will swim back to, to wherever he likes to go. You know, I appreciate that, but I haven't done anyone any harm. I'm certainly not going to leave any litter here. I'm definitely not going to harm the fish. Well, that's good. That's good. But please don't cross this line in future. I know I'm not supposed to fish over here, but you know, sometimes in life you kind of just break the odd rule as long as it's not hurting other people. It was one of those. Well, it is. It's been it's hurting not. the it's wildlife. Not. No, no, I haven't hurt the it's wildlife. I haven't. <laughs> you may have witnessed things down here in the past where people have You'll left have a really good <laughs> Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> anyway, should we get your slip back? Yeah. Um, it was lovely to meet you. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I've... No, I'm you... sorry. I'm not going to shake. <laughs> you won't shake a fisherman's hand. Not. Well, it was a pleasure. Not unless. 
you start looking at these thing, this thing as a whole, not just what you want to do. Yeah. And there's no reason why you can't go fishing in the canal, in rivers, but not here. Okay? You have a lovely day, yeah? yeah. <laughs> I only wanted to come fishing. Let's get this beauty slip back. <laughs> and let's get this beauty slip back. Now it's nice to see, you know, that she's very passionate about what she believes. We we probably both disagree on a few things. I've already held my hands up for fishing in a out of bounds area. Um, but yeah, it's it's a shame. It's a great shame, especially with her, with her thoughts with regards to kids into the sport. You know, she absolutely doesn't think children should be fishing because they shouldn't be uh, torturing the fish, in her words. I, I sadly disagree. I, I don't think there's a, a lot better things to, to be doing when you're growing up to, to keep you out of other trouble than fishing. And I think, you know, the, the four of us here today, Ollie, Jordan, Carl and myself, you know, we're, we're, we're testament to that. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people in Bristol and other cities right around Europe that haven't been lucky enough to, to have the opportunity to go fishing and as a result may well have um, you know followed a path uh, and not necessarily the right one. Anyway let's get this one slipped back. <clears throat> Do you want to have a look? Do you want to have a look? <laughs> this is a carp. Oh do they? Yeah. So he's a common carp. Wow. Oh. He's big. Would you like to try fishing one day? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's really good fun. Grandpa's going to take Joshua and then Oscar, but we have to There we go. Can you see? There we go. Bye-bye. Yeah. That was a wow. big one, wasn't it? Wait till you tell you Have you been feeding the ducks? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh wait, was that carp? He was probably about five, six pounds. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So a quite nice one for a for a little lake like this. Yeah. Oh, look, look at the yeah, the um, dragonfly. 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 See you later. Have a lovely yeah, day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. No problem.